This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. Click that reload. What is up? I was just actually taking selfies here and I really like the lighting. So I was like, let me just do my intro here today. I'm in my bedroom. It's a mess, but you can't really see it because it's like ceiling and I'm standing on my bed right now. But anyways, if you guys can't tell by my long ponytail and I mean, I guess the title of this video because you guys obviously already clicked this video. I'm doing Ariana Grande costumes. There's a cute little butterfly outside my window. I get so distracted by animals and bugs, guys. If you guys have watched my videos for a while, you guys know lots of animals and bugs are featured in my video all the time. I absolutely love Ariana Grande. She's like one of my favorite artists. I love the song Dance to This with Troy Sivan and I loved her outfit in it and I actually got a couple requests to do that outfit so I was like might as well. I was planning to do another Ariana Grande video so like copy her Instagram. I know that challenge is like a throwback and it's been done a long long time ago and plenty of times but I've never done it before and I want to recreate her Instagram so let me know in the comments. Give this video a like if you guys want to see that. If you guys are new to my channel welcome and don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. Yes, Ariana Grande pony hair whip. Okay, I annoy myself. So let's get on to these tutorials. For this outfit, you need a white polka dot dress or a plain dress that you guys can add black dots to later, red elastic, scissors, velcro stickers, and a glue gun. First, I'm going to cut across the top of the dress right underneath the armholes. Then you want to fold over the top edge and hem it down with a zigzag stitch. The top area was a little big for me so I used velcro stickers to make it tighter. I folded the amount that I wanted to take in and I added markings. I placed the velcro stickers along the top, side, and bottom of the folded area. I got these velcro stickers at my local 99 cent store and they come in handy literally like all the time. Once you have one side done, stick the other velcro side on top. So the fuzzy side and the sticky little pokey part needs to be touching. Um, I don't know what they're called, so I'm just going to call them fuzzy and spiky part. So yeah, those two parts will be sticking so that the sticker side should be facing up. Fold over the dress and press firmly to make the velcro sticker stick onto the other side. This obviously is not the cutest way to make a closure, but it is a good alternative to adjusting the fit for clothes, especially if you don't like sewing and especially, especially if you're only going to be using it for one day, for example, Halloween. The closure part in the inside flaps around, which I wasn't a fan of, so you guys can also glue the inside flap down to keep it in place. Ariana's dress has red elastic straps, but I was too lazy to find a tiny red elastic, so I just added red paint to my white elastic. Sew these to the top of your dress with a straight stitch. I couldn't find a poofy dress like Ariana's, so to add dimension to my dress, I cut side slits on the side seams. Also, shout out to the people in LA probably watching me from their office window as I randomly twirl on this rooftop with an umbrella. Preferably want to find a blue jacket and skirt, but I literally could not find one that I liked at the thrift store So I'm using this blue button-up top approximately 12 to 14 yards Depending on how big your jacket is of pink fold over vice tape or ribbon You'll also need some white socks gold to paint and a brush velcro stickers Which are optional scissors and a glue gun all right, so I filmed this tutorial before I got my nails done, so they're gross right now, and I actually broke a nail in the middle of filming this, so I just wanted to call myself out first before anyone else does. If you guys are making a two-piece set, mark and cut your top where you want it to split. I'm using a ruler and a crayon to make my markings. Then I cut off the buttons so that I could paint them gold. I actually like to paint my buttons on a piece of tape, that way they don't move anywhere, and I also painted some extra ones for her pockets and sleeves. 
See guys, I told you I broke a nail halfway through. While your buttons are drying, you can add your pink trim. With my crayon, I'm just marking where I would add my ribbon. I'm also following this photo that I pulled off of the internet. So I literally was just marking every seam, every edge, etc, etc. Also because there are no pockets on this thing, I had to draw them in myself. I had to make a skirt out of the bottom half so I took in the sides and also originally planned to make back darts but I changed it last minute and you'll see what I ended up doing in the next clip. So I added a front dart instead, a side seam and one giant seam down the center back where I took out a ton of material because it was just so big. Next, I marked up where I wanted to add my trim on the skirt. I couldn't really find a good photo online, so I literally just watched the video a million times to figure out where they added the pink trim. Now you can add your pink ribbon to all of your markings. To help your trim from fraying, I like to add glue to the edge and fold it over. You only really need to do this if the edge is showing versus if it's being overlapped with another piece of ribbon. So I'm using bias tape and the reason why I like it is because since it's folded, you can sandwich the edges inside. This is perfect for me since I have a raw edge because I cut my top, but if you end up finding a matching jacket and skirt, then regular ribbon is just fine. Making the fake pocket took a little while to figure out, so I just cut small strips and sandwiched them together. Okay, since this obviously is not a real skirt, I needed to add more closure to the front, so I added Velcro stickers and used the same method from the other tutorial. I want to create the same sleeve opening as her jacket and also because the sleeves were freaking huge. So I just added a flat strip of bias tape on the side seam and then wrapped more pink tape on the sleeve edge. Then I pinched the side seam and folded it over. Once you have a good sized hole that you can still slip your hand through, you can glue everything down. And lastly, glue your buttons to finish off your jacket. As for the socks, I couldn't find lettuce hem socks for my life. Well, I'm just kidding. I only really checked out Walmart, but anyways, I decided to make my own. And to do that, I folded the top to the inside and sewed a zigzag stitch on the edge. Make sure you're pulling and stretching the edge while you're hemming and also make sure that you're using a tiny zigzag stitch. To be honest guys, it would be better to find frilly socks because yeah, they look cute right now, but when you wear them, they look like totally normal socks because they stretch to your ankles or I just have really big ankles, I don't know. To finish off my outfit, I'm just wearing a regular wife beater that I cut into a crop to match my crop jacket, some white Air Force Ones, and these clips that I got at the dollar store. You make me feel something, something more than, than I've had before. You make me feel something, something more for sure. Really cute dancing video on my Instagram because I can't post it on YouTube because of copyright music purposes. So go check that out if you guys want to see that. And I have a bonus tutorial for you guys because I love you guys. So I found this bunny mask at the dollar store, but the fit is really crappy. Like if I wear it where the nose is, then it hurts my eyes. But then if I move it to fit my eyes, then there's this really big nose gap. So I just cut the entire nose area off and made the eye hole bigger to fit my entire eye and to also show off my eyebrows like Ariana's. Also, sorry guys, I know this clip sucks because I wasn't paying attention and the mask isn't being filmed at all. Then for my outfit, I'm just using this bodysuit that I got from Princess Polly and I paired it with these really long satin gloves. The I've before, you make me feel something, something more for sure. 
much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I had so much fun filming it. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that. Also to let me know if you guys want me to recreate Ariana Grande's Instagram for a week. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at the of Rose. I hope you guys have your costumes because we have like one week left to Halloween. Um, yeah, I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!